Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I posted anything, but Happy New Year. Today we're going to go over some things that have been troubling some people, as I can see on Discord, and that's permissions. So let's come over to our data sets and talk about permissions. So I'll give you a great example here. Let's look at the media folder, because this is one of the ones that's been messing people up. When we're looking at permissions, you guys can see here, this is regular permissions. These are, these are called Unix or POSIX permissions. These are not an ACL. An ACL looks something more like this. You'll see users and owners and all kinds of stuff here. Your media sec might have uh, those kind of permissions, but uh, what we want to do is we want to have Unix permissions on this. So let's go in here and let's edit. If you have the Unix permissions editor, this is what it looks like. So you'll see there's read, write, and execute. This is usually called R. This is called W. This is called X. So we want to keep everybody as apps, apps, and we want all that do all that recursively. But it's kind of hard to tell in here what the permissions look like. I mean, you can see it looks like this, but what you don't see in these data sets is the fact there's something under media. I actually have my my movies, my TV, my downloads directory under here, but you can't see that. So when we talk about permissions, the best place to look at permissions is actually in the shell. So let's go there. Let's blow this up. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is do a sudo su. Okay, and now we see this little hashtag here. It means I'm under root user. The dollar sign means I'm regular user. This means admin user. So let's uh, let's start by ls dash ls where we are. We're in home slash true. That's not what we want to be. So we want to change direction directories to mount. And now let's look at all this. Okay, let's go into tank. Okay. Now, here's my media folder. You see all these letters? I'm going to teach you guys what these letters mean. So this first D here means directory. I want you to use this media here. This means directory. It means there's, this is not a file. This is a folder. These first three, R, W, X, read, write, execute, just like I said before, this is the owner. So in this case, the owner is the one on the left, apps. Apps is my owner. So this is two columns here, apps and apps and root and root. This is my owner. This is my owner permissions, read, write, and execute. That's, that means all permissions. Read, write, and execute means do anything. This is the group, RWX. Yes, so it says RWX, RWX, RWX. It's all three. So owner, group. In this case, my group is apps. And this last RWX, this means other. This is kind of like a shorthand for anybody. Other means anybody. So not only do does my owner, apps, have full permissions, RWX is full permissions. My group, apps, has read, write, execute, full permissions. And then anyone has RWX full permissions. Now, I do that for one reason, one reason only, because sometimes I run into permissions issues. And the issue is, even though the apps user and group has permissions, sometimes, for whatever reason, I still have issues where stuff says I can't be written to. So I just open, this is called wide open. So whenever you see all these letters, this is wide open. This is full permissions for everybody. See these dashes here? This means no permissions. This is like a zero. So in this case, let's look at my configs file. My configs file is locked in there as root and root and now my owner is root and my group is root so my owner has full permissions here read write execute my group has full permissions here read write execute and then everybody else has no permissions which means if you're not root or root you can't do anything to this configs directory so that's really challenging so let's look at my media Ah, sorry. Don't do that. Now, you see how I put the slash here as an excellent example? This is looking in the actual media directory, not the media under tank, but media itself. So now I have to change this, mount tank media. That's the media directory just looking at. There we go. So now you'll see what's going on in here. I have a backups folder. That's apps, apps. Now let's look at this is interesting permissions. So the owner apps has full permissions, but the group apps only has read and execute, no writes, and everybody else only has read and execute, but no write permission, which means they can read these files, but they can't change them. They can't save them. They can't modify them. So that's interesting on my backups directory. Uh, downloads, it's wide open. All these are here. Movies is wide open. And then TV is wide open, all with apps, apps, apps. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so... Well, that's supposed to be. There's an option here. You don't have to have the everyone open. So I usually use wide open to permissions because, again, I get less problems. But really, we don't need everyone to have full permissions. Um, we only need the user and group. So what if I wanted to change the user and groups? So let's talk about some commands. So this is going to be ch uh, what is it? Ch shown. This is how you change the ownership of the user. So if I was to do a shown, uh, let's say I wanted shown 
Um, my we're gonna change TV. We're gonna mess with some stuff. Actually, no, let's do backups because backups doesn't really connect anything right now. Uh, we're gonna change uh, the owner from apps to root for backups. There we go. Notice how now this went from apps to root. Before it was apps, now it's root. I changed the owner of the backups directory. Now, backups might have more stuff in it. Now, remember backups, see how it says there's a D here? This is a directory. So there's a lot of things under backups. So let's go in here and let's look what, what's under backups. Nothing. Okay. In the event there was something under here, uh, and I wanted to do it shown back to apps for backups, and I had more than one directory underneath this, I would want to do a dash R. This dash R means this directory and everything contained in it. So if I do that, and then I do an LS dash L, now backups is back to apps, and anything under this directory would also be owner apps. And we can do the same thing with group, change GRP. Uh, we're gonna change root, change group root, of backups, and I want everything under it, like that. There we go. Now notice my group has changed. Let's change it back. Okay. Ah. Be cool if I could spell. Now backups is back. Now let's say for whatever reason I'm having a problem. So because I don't have the right permission here, we could say, hey, there must be an issue here and that I don't I need to give this right permission. So if you're on the Discord channel, I'm telling you, hey, I want you to go wide open with your permissions. That means RWX, 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 just to test to make sure it's not a permissions issue. Usually I do that for testing. So if we're gonna do something like that, we're gonna do what's called a chone. This is chone. This is wide open. So for example, the R is scored a four. The right, the right is uh, scored a two, and the execute is scored a one, which means an RX is a five. Uh, a six would be read write, and a seven is read write execute. So seven, seven, seven. This first seven is the owner. The second owner, second seven is the group. The third seven is everybody, which means I want to give the owner, the group, whoever that's listed as. In this case is apps, apps, and anybody. RWX full wide open permission. So I want to do that for the backups director and I want to do that for everything under it. That's what the flat, that's what the dash R means. Okay. Now look at the, oh, hold on. That's it. Oops. I did the wrong command. The chone ownership is root. So that's, so I, I see, I say that's, I gave the wrong command. So I told it to change the owner of that to 777. I didn't mean to do that. We want to do chmod. That's the correct command. chmod for apps for 777 backups dash r. Change mod. This is going to be the modify permissions. I want to give it wide open permissions for the owner, the group, and everybody in the backups directory and everybody under it. Now let's take a look and you'll see that I've got all the letters filled out. This is wide open permissions. So if you're ever on the Discord channel, you're having issues, or maybe you're just trying to troubleshoot your own machine and you're saying, hey, I'm getting a permission denied. The reason you're probably getting a permission denied is because your permissions are wrong. Try changing it to doing this command, the chmod 777. Try that and see if it works. And if it does work, it means your permissions are set up wrong. You can either go back and set up your permissions correctly, or you can just leave it wide open depending on how you feel about security. I will tell you that a lot of people do not like the 777 because it's not a best practice. The best practice is called principle of least privilege, which means you only give the bare minimum permissions that that data set or that user, for example, will need. 777 is like free for all. So if you've got yourself locked down, you don't have any VPN, no one's got can VPN in, you're protected behind your router, you got firewalls up, yada, 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 your security's good. You can 777 all day because no one's getting in your network. But in the event that you're a little more security conscious, you might say, hey, I did a 777 and it started working, which means my permissions are wrong. Go back and recreate your data set and see if putting different permissions on it is what the, was what the problem is. So I'm going to put all these uh, in the description of the video that's shown the uh, ch, ch mod and ch group um, just so you guys can see the commands and how they work we kind of get used to doing this um, let's see if there's anything in here 
that I can I can play with is not that I, all these folders are empty, so I can't show you what the dash R flag does, but just trust me when I tell you that dash R will make everything under a change. If you use the dash R flag, I recommend you go into the uh, subdirectory and just make sure that it, it, it took for all the subdirectories. That's how you know you're doing it right. Uh, on a side note, I want to give you guys an announcement here. We're doing our first ever live event on the Discord channel. It's going to be on the 10th. Uh, at 7 o'clock or 7.30, uh, check the Discord. I, I forget what time it was, but I'm going to do a live event, basically, where I set up all, a whole bunch of stuff live. Uh, I'm going to put together a whole bunch of different apps on the R Suite. I'm going to do it right there in front of you guys. I'm going to take questions uh, as I'm doing it. I'm also going to take um, any requests for apps that you guys want to see installed. So just put those... Um, in the general chat, I guess, and, and uh, we'll talk about the event coming up. But I want you guys to know it's on the Discord channel, so uh, go check it out, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the 10th.